This year, we're going to be using a system called eHall Pass to create and manage any student passes. eHall Pass is going to be accessible through your Clever portal. So once you're logged in, make sure you scroll down to the middle and high school links and then click eHall Pass. You should not have to choose anything. It should just automatically log you in to your eHall Pass home screen after a second. Once you've logged into eHall Pass, you will see the main student screen. There are menu options on the left. In the center of the screen is the main area used to create now or immediate hall passes and make future appointment requests if this feature is turned on at your school. On the top white student bar on the right side, you will find your profile settings, the school name, and access to eHall Pass help information. By clicking on the blue circle with a question mark, a new screen will appear from the right which provides help details related to the screen you are on. You will see these available throughout the system. As you can see, this help window provides more information about the megaphone icon or sound notifications, the bell icon, which provides notifications related to appointment pass changes, and lastly, information about the profile settings. You will only need to go into your profile settings if your school instructs you to do so, mostly for the purposes of creating a kiosk password, which all schools do not use. To close the help window, simply click the X. From the main screen, you can create a now or immediate hall pass request. This is done by selecting an option in the departing from section. Here you can search for your teacher's name or the location you are leaving. If desired, you can create up to 10 shortcuts by clicking on the Favorites box and searching for the teacher or location you want to add. You can go back and edit your favorites as needed. Once a Departing From selection is made, then search or select a favorite in the Destination section. There may be shortcuts here that your school admin has set up. You can add up to 5 shortcuts of your own. You may need to click the dot at the bottom to add a favorite teacher or room. Again, you can make edits to these as necessary. After you've made a selection in this area, you may need to add a reason for the pass. For some passes, this may be required, but for other destinations, it may be optional or the box may not appear at all. Then click Submit. At this point, your pass will show red on your screen and is awaiting approval from your teacher. Please follow the instructions at your school for asking permission to leave the room on a pass. The teacher has the option to approve the pass from their own eHall Pass dashboard or can approve the pass directly on your device. The teacher could also decide not to approve the pass and cancel this if necessary. Once the teacher approves the pass, the pass will turn green on your screen. At this point, follow the guidelines at your school for leaving the classroom with unapproved pass. Upon return or arrival at your destination, depending on the type of pass, follow the procedures to get your pass approved or ended. Depending on the type of pass or destination, you may need two or possibly up to four approvals on a pass. Your school and some teachers may choose to use a feature called AutoPass for some types of passes or locations. With AutoPass, you may be able to start and or end the pass on your own. You can recognize an AutoPass because you'll see a Start and Stop button on the pass as shown here. Again, this is an optional feature and not all schools or teachers choose to use this. There are some pass limits and location restrictions that can be set by a school admin. If your school chooses to use any of these, you will see messages at the top of your pass screen in eHall Pass. Most are self-explanatory, but if you have questions about these, please ask a teacher or an administrator at your school. Before we wrap up this overview, I'd like to show you about the Appointment Pass feature in eHall Pass. Many schools choose to use this, but some do not. This feature provides a way for teachers or administrators to set up a pass for you to attend a meeting or appointment with them. This could be an immediate pass or for a future date and time. You can see if you have any appointment passes from the Appointment Pass menu option on the left. Typically, you will receive reminder notifications about an appointment pass approximately 20 minutes and 5 minutes prior to the appointment time. These notifications will be within eHall Pass and or through email, depending on your school settings. You may also choose to get these in the student app by turning on app notifications. Please acknowledge these notifications to let your teacher know you are planning to attend the appointment. At the appointment time, your teacher will need to approve the appointment pass just like any other pass. Students may also have access to initiate an appointment with a teacher or administrator. This is known as an appointment pass request in eHall Pass. From the student screen, if this is available at your school, you will see an appointment pass option to the right of Now Pass. Notice a student can make up to five requests at one time. Once this option is selected, the departing from and destination areas of the screen are the same as a Now Pass. You need to complete these and then add the date for the appointment, the period, the time, and the reason. When you click Submit, the request will go to that adult in order to be confirmed, edited, or canceled. Remember, you can view and manage all of your appointment passes from the main menu on the left. Changes to appointments will be included as a notification at the top of your screen. If you have questions or want to learn more about using eHall Pass, there are other training videos and a quick reference guide available to you from the training menu option in eHall Pass. Thank you.